My name is Ramsey. Welcome back to Fail the Endless. It's time to title. We're actually gonna get the endless this time. I I would promise it, but I don't know if I want to promise it. I'll imply that it's possible. How about that? Uh, yikes. This is also a really bad floor. There's a possibility of getting two elites and three rests. And considering two elites is the most elites I can get, not bad. Ah, Bandana. Gain two thievery for the first three turns of combat. Thievery each time you attack and deal unblocked attack damage. Gain gold. Uh, it also has a synergy with Bloody Idol. It will give temporary HP instead of healing. Oh, no. Bloody Idol will give temporary HP. Excuse me, instead of healing. Yikes. Sorry about the burp. <laughs> Yikes. Uh, <laughs> uh, I hate that it just interrupted me while I was trying to talk. At least wait until I'm done, burp. So hopefully I get to loot a bunch of cash here in the early game with that mask. Like over the course of that fight, like I started with 99, right? So I got 16. It's okay. Finisher would be a really good way to benefit from it. I, you know what? I'm going to try and draft into Bandana, which is dumb. Don't draft into like the first relic you see. But I'm going to do it because, eh, you know, dumb things are sometimes fun as well. One more strike. Ooh, lovely. Footwork. You can't, you can't turn down footwork. Even in the super early game, you know, you, do, you don't turn down footwork. I hate that we didn't have a shot at lethal that turn. Would have been 12, 12, 24 total. I needed to attack with the strike first, so I would have been using the bandana on both of those hits. That would have been correct. But yeah. Now we have lethal. <clears throat> uh, like, not taking the finisher, taking the deadly poison in that position, then taking the deadly poison in this position would lead to a far better deck. Fine. The, taking the finisher was a mistake. I'm not just going to continue with the mistake just because I made a mistake. I'm not going to commit to a mistake for that reason. Okay. It's a pretty good draw for finisher in this fight, to be honest. Oh, I have lethal next time. Never mind. <clears throat> it was whether or not I played Deadly Poison in order to try and get lethal in two turns time, but no, we're fine. Uh, Kaleidoscope. Whenever you play three cards that give block in a single turn, gain one reflection. Ooh. Now that's a build around. I wish I could just go neutralize strike strike. So what? Neutralize strike strike is 15. And then this is 18. 15, 18 is 33. 33 plus explosive potion is not even lethal. Uh, I gonna be neat. They can't really do that, can I? No. Definitely can't do that. Make sure to attack three times there instead of poison, just for the sake of the scarf. <clears throat> Backflip? Yeah. Makes a bunch of sense if I'm trying to use the kaleidoscope. Excuse me, apparently my throat needed to be cleared. I have aggressively done that, and now we're all good again. Golden Egg, whenever you had a rare card to your deck upgraded, and whenever you purchase a card from the merchant, it is upgraded. Super useful. Super useful thing, that. I'm gonna take both Deadly Poison, uh, both Poison upgrades, rather, first. 
Might even get the bloody idol. We'll see. Okay. There's also a campfire up here. Is there a bonfire rather than a rest? Snake goes gold! Whenever you apply poison, apply one additional poison. That justifies everything I've done so far. Everything. In all fields. I can't wake up the enemy until I have the bouncing flask and footwork. This is ridiculous. So I play three cards that give me block in this turn, and then I'll gain reflection. So block, block, block. Reflection is now whenever you are completely, uh, whenever you completely block damage, deal that much back to the attacker. That is why Kaleidoscope is something that I'm looking at like, oh, that's a build around. You build entirely around that. Because now my deck can just be poison and defense. That's all I'll ever need. That said, what silent deck couldn't just be poison and defense? This is real. Uh, Caltrop, like... Could be used in this deck, but also I could do better cal drops just by defending normally. So, maybe I put a single copy in the deck, or maybe it's piercing well. You know what? It's neither. Yeah, we still need to have the ability to get enough block cards after playing footwork in order to trigger Kaleidoscope. So, at a bonfire, you oftentimes finish a quest and you get random options. So, recall and rest are here, thankfully. We also have brew and mine. Unfortunately, we don't have smith, and smith is exactly the one that we'd have used here. Probably on neutralize. Uh, so, instead, I'll probably mine, gain some money. So, Sneko Skull, as well as the <clears throat> Bouncing Flask, is so good together because it applies multiple stacks of poison itself. I've got to try and transform the enemy next turn, so have to go aggressive. Alright, there we go. Uh, but since it applies poison multiple times, it benefits from multiple times. Super neat. <clears throat> no, I can use the explosive potion to stun the acid slime on a different turn. Okay, so half of 34, you'll split at 17. You're currently at 18 just with that poison on you. So 12 down from where you currently are takes you to 22. Six down from that takes you to 16. So I can't... No, I can strike this turn. Beautiful. And then next turn, the explosive potion is ridiculous. Hell yeah. Good fight. Norotoxin. This early especially, and it pre-upgrades on addition to deck. Yeah. So, the other thing there is the possibility of going with the Sneko Skull, right? The Sneko Skull, whenever you apply poison, apply one addition to poison. That and in Venom can be really, really good together. And we do have a finisher in the deck. That said, if I want to benefit from the finisher as a multi-hit trigger for in Venom for the Sneko Skull for the sake of a poison build, then I need to add more attacks into this deck. The more attacks I add into this deck, far less effective the footwork and the defense are in the backlit, right? So despite the fact that it's something I could build into, it is at the jeopardy of something else because the dilution of my hand with attacks makes everything else much worse. Savvy? So yes, I did consider it. It's just, no, I can't take it, unfortunately. Uh, Philo Stone. It's the least impactful of those. More than happy to give the enemies extra strength because then they damage themselves with it. Oftentimes, at least. Okay. There's a two elite path with three upgrades over on the left. But there's a three elite path, including a nightmare. If I want to take it, it only gets one upgrade. Gets an early shop, though. 
I'll take it. Actually, the early shot was the considerable force that forced me to take that. Funnily enough. Wait, what? Unblocked attack damage. That was blocked entirely, and yet the game told me that I got gold there. That should not be so. I absolutely hate this. All right, please defend me. You suck. All right, that'll do. Save myself 11 HP that turn. Leg sweep, pre-upgraded. Yep. Uh, yes. Yes, please. I do like Ritual Dagger, and it only gets better over time in endless builds, so I have to take it. Even though this is not what the build goes for, I have to take it. Sucks to miss out on Bouncing Blast there, but got to defend myself. I'll... I was going to say I'll win this fight ultimately anyway, but I'll probably win this fight ultimately anyway. That is to say, I'll probably win this fight ultimately anyway without taking more damage as a result of that. <laughs> Let me just run a billion clarifications on every single time I open my mouth to utter an utterance. Okay. I purposefully choose not to kill this turn just because I want to try and kill the enemy next turn with the ritual dagger. There it is. That's lethal. I can't count. <laughs> oh, that was awful. All right. Uh, yeah, sorry. I already have the best relic for this, Neko Skull, so you can't make me take chaos. Uh, upon pickup, replace every relic you hold with a random relic. Sorry, can't take that here. Uh, shielding is really good. Kunai would be okay, but not in this build. Yeah, not really in this build. Well laid plans is really good as well. Laid plans is really good as well. Laid plans is really good. Uh, do I take impatience here? Yeah. And footwork. Ooh, and impatience. They're all getting, like, immediately upgraded as I take them as well. So, super neat. Uh, I'll also take the ability to heal at the start of boss fights. Uh, sorry, normal fights. And juice your and normally mean cannons and non-green cannon. Question mark rooms. Sure. So, now I get a bunch of events as well. So, I can get sick, mad, powerful off of those. Whoops. Almost almost completely screwed that one up uh so the finisher actually only does two attacks by itself so one of the strikes needs to go against the bird so that i get to actually drop them and then i can retain my footwork for the next time I'm going to backflip. I have the ability to retain for the next turn anyway. And pretty much I'll always retain a defensive card. Worst case scenario, I probably need to use two defense in a single turn. Great. I said I was always going to be holding one, and then immediately I stopped holding one because uh, eventually someone needs to teach you that liars are out there in the world this is a life lesson i've taught you that there are liars by being one yikes uh, i think i will do the three draw i don't want to take damage here if i can avoid it and i can yeah. so i try and always evaluate my potions in terms of the amount of hp that they can save me so that was a pretty valuable potion right there all right, boss down, wraps up. Deadly poison. Ooh, but that's a dodge and roll. Dodge and roll. I've got two pre-upgraded backflips in the deck. It's dodge and roll through and through. Yikes. At least we got our footwork set there on the first turn. Oh, 
I have three footworks in this deck. Sorry, my bad. Can't believe I ignored one of them. I'd like to be drawing my defense, though. You know, it seems like that could be useful. Intentionally, I play extra cards that turn for the sake of getting reflection. Okay, I might get Ritual Dagger off. No. Yeah, it's definitely not happening. <laughs> All right. Enemy just dies to the poison. Yeah, Ritual Dagger and Poison are going to be competing for each enemy kill. I mentioned it before. It's going to be a little bit of a problem. Uh, but even a Ritual Dagger growing slowly in Endless is fine. Poison Smokescreen. Gain six block. Apply that much poison randomly split among all enemies. We have three, count them, three copies of Footwork in the deck. Yes. We can actually make use of that. Quantum Egg. Whenever a card is created during combat, it is upgraded. I love that relic. So much. Love Grade Ritual Dagger as well. Things that get better over time. Theme of the prioritized upgrades here. Rune of Simplicity. Strike and Defend can be upgraded any number of times. And upon pickup, upgrade to randomly. Unfortunately, because we have so many Strike left in the deck, that's not going to be great. Oh, but never mind. We don't need the Sapphire case. That's fine. Yeah. If that upgraded to Defends, I would have been happy. But alas... Transform all strikes and defense seems like a really dodgy option right now. The possibility that I end up with a bunch of stuff useless as a result is just really sad. Like, if I if I lose all of my defense, how many defense do I actually have in the rest of the deck? One, two, three, four, five. Oh, now I actually want to do it. I can do that and then remove a card afterwards. Wraith form. That's a rare, so it immediately gets upgraded by Golden Egg as well. Hidden Blade. Garbage. Deflect. Not that good. Yeah, a lot of this is actually really bad. We got pretty hard screwed by that, except for the pickup of the Wraith form. Uh, Alright. Let's remove probably Eviscerate first. Actually, no accuracy. And I'll take a random Relic. We got Baseball. Upon pick up, a random card in the deck becomes free. And it was the Ritual Dagger that was affected by that. Okay. Well, life is either fine or awful, depending on whether or not we get to Wraith form in time. Which is just somehow, sometimes how life is, I guess. I hate that I just lost both of those others. That whole next hand would have been great. Why did I draw? 15. We're bouncing floss first because where it lies is important. There's a 17 on that back lane now. So if I predator them, they're dead. So I prevent the, the next turn's effect, which is really important to me. Right. Okay, Wraith Form, Ritual Dagger, and Well Laid Plants. Like, all of those are going to work really well together. Uh, should have been doing that the whole time. Could have already killed. Okay, I'll retain these two. And I've already played Norotoxin, right? Yeah, so the rest of the combat is just uh, how quickly can I kill you? Keep both of those and just ultra poison the enemy next turn. Excellent. Goodbye, Taskmaster. And hello to the Tiger Marble. At the start of each combat, add a random card to your hand. It costs zero until blade. And it'll get upgraded. Hey, that's sweet at least. Tripwire, gain four block at the start of your next turn, sun a random enemy and draw one card. Neat. Ooh, 
uh, prepared to drop the eviscerate. Sexual attack in the back line instantly. Ooh, lovely. Impatience for even more card draw. And bouncing flask. So we've already got Neurotoxin and a worked version of... Wait, we've got Neurotoxin and a worked version of the dagger off there. Neat. Elixir, he exhausts all status and curse cards. It's worth noting that that all capitalized means that you're looking in your deck for that as well. One of those. And your discard pile as well. Endless Agony. God, we're getting some really bad pulls from those. Hmm. Fine. That's what's needed. That's what's needed. It's really important that Gremlin Knob doesn't take a turn. Yeah, if it kills an enemy, it doesn't have to kill a specific type of enemy. All right, we're all good now. Are we? Hang on. The leg sweep as well, I think, though. Yeah. It's fine. These enemies uh, will attack themselves back for the same they attack me for. Unfortunately, I do get weakened as a result, but that's okay. I've got Wraithform to play this turn, and then I just wait two more turns time and we win. Like, all of this is already resolved past that turn. I love that Wraithform gives you the ability to do this kind of thing. Wraithform and Poison alike both give you the ability to do this kind of thing, which is just like, uh, I'm just going to wait until everyone's dead if you don't mind. Gremlin food, whenever you rest, upgrade a random card. There's a second Neurotoxin there. Sure. It immediately upgrades itself on addition to the deck. Hey, I have to take one of 20 cards here. I'm looking for defense. Blur is pretty good. Dodge and roll is pretty good. It's just those two at the moment, though. Both of them are really good because they don't only just provide me block on the turn I play them, but provide me block on another turn. I think block is too dilute from my deck for Blur to be as effective as dodge and roll right now. Hey, so we get rest, smith, recall, and brew. Neat. Um, take the smith. Uh, do I take the smith? Yeah, I do. I do. I do still. Backflip probably needs an upgrade. Stays in the deck, but dodge and roll gets more effect out of an upgrade, so I'll hit it. That's two Neurotoxins against an enemy that's already not going to take any effect to him. I'll throw away one weak, and I'll throw away one poison. I don't want to throw away 22, po uh, 22 poison, though. Ah, oh, that's fine. Vulnerability doesn't do that much for me, so I can throw away Terra in order to do that. Eviscerate is so bad in this deck. It needs to leave. Yeah, the big reason it's bad in this deck is it's stopping impatience because it's so expensive. Obviously, we'll hold Ritual Dagger until it kills an enemy. There's no need to fret about that. So you go down 12, you go to 40. So if I hit with that, then Ritual Dagger next turn kills you. Sweet. Ooh, give me the Wraith Form and I'll get to hold to that. Lovely. Actually gonna choke. Deflect. 
throw out Predator on the front line, because that kills the frontliner, and then I can Ritual Dagger the backliner this turn. Neat. So I actually get both of them down. Keep the Lace Wave? No. Keep the Poison Smoke screen. The ability to get that much poison on the enemy that quickly is so good. Damn it. I can only get 15 block this turn. Hey, but again, that's fine. That's totally fine, especially because I have Wraith Form. The fact that I can hold this Wraith Form just means that the rest of this fight for me is throw out poison, and then when that's not working anymore, play Wraith Form. End my turn right up until all of the enemies uh, dead. I'll save myself a whole turn's end there. All right. Another Nora toxin. <laughs> there is. Uh, do I take Wraith Wall? Yeah, I think I take the extra Wraith Wall. No. No single Wraith Wall in the deck. Extra Nora toxin. We're doing it. Maybe I take Necrosis later as well. Snacko Scales, draw three additional cards each turn. Whenever you play a card that costs more than three and uh, more than zero energy, rather, discard a card. Yikes. That's pretty bad for us. Uh, I also can't take Velvet Choker, though. I'll take uh, I'll take Ori. It gives me a chance to find some defensive cards to actually defend. Backflip, definitely. Cloak and Dagger upgraded, probably not. But I will take that Deflect, and I will take this Backflip. That's fine. That's more than enough for me. For the sake of the kaleidoscope, though, is going to be really, really helpful. Alright, I'll take this hard left path. Woo! -hoo -hoo -hoo! Re upgraded Apotheosis in the opening hand. And it costs zero. Ah, <laughs> uh, good time. I was looking for that to draw me into well-laid plans so I can hold cards for the rest of the turn anyway. Ooh, it was only one from drawing me into well-laid plans, as it turns out. Okay. <laughs> I love that I'm focused so much on getting all of these neurotoxins off and then Ritual Dagger as well. And yet it's gonna work. Curse and Concoction. Gain three strength and two decks. Add a random curse to your draw and discard piles. Yeah, not super into that. Uh, Tripwire pre-upgraded. Invenom. Again, no. Is Invenom now my build? Have I pivoted towards Invenom? I have not. If anything, I've pivoted away. Footwork, footwork, dodge and roll. That's impatience, sure. I'll Nora on the healthiest one and then use the second Nora next turn, hopefully, I guess. Wait. 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 No! I have to cycle through the whole deck again in order to get back to a Nora Toxin I can play. God damn it. So the incoming damage is. 38. I can't block all of that. Damn. No, it's 28, right? Yeah, it's 28. I can block all of that. Uh, I I don't want to lose this ritual dagger yet because... Oh, if it kills an enemy? Yeah, it doesn't count as killing an enemy unless it kills the final enemy on the field here. But I feel like I can get it to kill the final enemy on the field. Great. It's fine that they're all back on the field. It's okay. Uh,
I'll deflect poison smoke screen. Great. Okay. So this will kill everyone except for the backliner, and then ideally I kill that backliner next turn with the dagger, and we drew it, and we got the norotoxin. <laughs> yes. Uh, no. None of those, thank you. Baseball, again. Upon pick up a random card in your deck and comes free. Again. Uh, well, before we do that, let's remove the Eviscerate that's complete garbage. Yes, it could have been made zero cost, but it still would have not been great for this deck. Uh, I kind of want to take Baseball and War Paint. Baseball hit Dodge and Roll, neat. Also Lantern, start each combat with additional energy. That's also super useful. Then War Paint. Backflip and Smokescreen, neat. All pretty good hits there, as far as I'm concerned. Um, this doesn't impact us specifically in any way. So I'm going to take it. Okay. Yeah, the Ritual Dagger can now instantly kill a target on the field. Very much appreciated. I'm going to use Elixir before Alchemize. Kill that frontliner instantly. Split some poison across the field here as well. Great. So I got a frontliner that's pretty close to just murdering themselves overall for me. Using patience before I do anything else here, just in case. Um. I still have to throw Neurotoxin out. Hey! Now that's what I'm looking for. All of that poison goes straight through. Goodbye, Spirit Guardian. Bouncing Flask again? I don't know if I can take a second one. Not right now, at least. Especially without Catalysts yet in the deck. Okay! Wraithform is here. Do I play it already? I'm going to exhaust a lot of these cards. Predator probably stays, though. Okay, I can play in Venom. Violence to pull out all of the attacks in my deck. Literally, these are all of the attacks in there. Uh, the bomb needs to be played. Predator. I think I... I I think I can't save Ritual Dagger for the kill because the enemy will die to Neurotoxin before I get back to it. So I think instead I'm going to Predator, Ritual Dagger, finish. Uh... Hmm. Footwork backflip to see what's in there. Dodge and roll. Definitely throw out the Nora Toxin. Now it's about whether or not I throw out the other Nora Toxin or the Dodge and Roll. There's not that much defense left in the. Oh, there's still some. It's really important I increment those Nora Toxins whenever available. And never mind, I have the ability to retain things at the end of the turn. I should have defended. That's my bad. That's a dumb mistake on my part. Let's uh, footwork and then defend and then defend as well on top of that. Get some reflection going on, despite the fact that reflection is clearly not needed at this point in time. Alright. Goodbye, Nightmare. At least we have a build that can kill Nightmares. Probably even Nightmare Elites. Uh, light bulb. if you have any unspent energy at the end of your turn, draw that many cards at the start of your next turn, as well as the ability to pick up a black card. Collect is the only one that makes sense here to me. And don't need the rest of that. Speaking of collect, though, we'll upgrade it. Card draw is great. <clears throat> mm. Okay. 
I'll choke there, then Predator the Frontliner. That gets rid of a lot of attacks from my hand, so I can now play Impatience. Adrenaline. No. Quick slash that Frontliner. Now both of the summons are down, and I can start Norotoxining. And Norotoxin even there for a second time. Beautiful. The Norotoxin gave me Reflection. Why did the Norotoxin give me Reflection? I definitely haven't played three cards this turn that gain block. What? Did these give it block? I don't think so. Huh. I got Reflection that turn as well. Was it the funnel at the end of the turn? Just played three cards there, no Reflection. Funnel triggered at the end of the turn, no Reflection. Yeah, I don't know what's doing it. Wait, we didn't have Funnel? I just predicted Funnel? At the end of your turn, unused enemies and converted to board. Okay. <laughs> I could have sworn I had it already. <laughs> that must have been last run. Ah, oh, yeah. Omori. Negate the next because you obtain. It must have been last run because I had Omori on that run as well. Wild. Ooh, look at that Jack of all trades. Jack of all trades is so good with Quantum Egg because the random colorless cards are upgraded as well. This has uh, draw X and refund two, so. What does that mean for us? Well, it means that if I play it with two, I lose no energy. Okay. I'm getting 15 block next turn. If the enemy is attacking that turn, I'm already protected. Neat. Noro, deadly smoke screen, I guess. Save Wraith Form and Ritual Dagger, as will become customary. I'm clearly looking for, like, a single copy of Catalyst for this deck. Good lord. Single copy is all I need. Okay, so we didn't get Impatience that turn either. Sorry, Impatience. Reflection that turn either. Reflection has been turning up on weird turns though, which is why I'm still trying to make sure what's going on with it. Hmm. Alright, I think I've got the Wraith form. Sorry, I think I've got the Ritual Dagger for the next turn. Yeah, me. Sweet! Took a bit of setup, but we got it. Bag of Marbles at the start of combat and a vulnerability to all enemies as well as Crippling Cloud. The fact that that applies weak to all enemies is the reason we take it here. Uh, yeah, can't really do much with any of these. I think it's card removal. The deck needs to get better and the cards are in the way of doing that. Yeah, take a bunch of money there happily, especially because I will actually have time to utilize it later on. Um... Neutralize, I guess. If there was an event that just said, all of the unupgraded cards in your deck, do you want to remove them? I'd be like, yeah, hell yeah, definitely, please. Vanessa is so good for this deck. It's really good for triggering Kaleidoscope. Improvise. Choose one of three random cards to add to your hand. It costs one less. So it's like a discovery, but bad. Right? What changes it? One of three random cards to upgrade and add to your hand to cost one less. Uh, no, I, I think it is just a bad version of the other card. Of Discovery. Actually, we had the ability to look at Discovery there. I really wish I had have stayed on that screen for just a moment longer. Oh, well. We'll upgrade Finesse, not because it's an impactful upgrade, because it's an upgrade of a card that will actually stay in the deck.
Ooh, tripwire is going to be good turn. Next turn. Also going to weaken the enemy without playing the Crippling Cloud here. So it took focus for the whole turn, but we had the ability to completely block the enemy there. We did have to use the funnel at the very end, though. <clears throat> the dodge and roll, finesse first. There's Norotoxin number one. Footwork and collect. Looking for more Norotoxins. I'm not going to find him, though, apparently. That's fine. That killed something, so Ritual Dagger still upgrades. Keep Wraith as well as the Bouncing Flask here. Nice. I'm going to deflect before I Hidden Blade. Deflect again. Shiv, Noro, Bouncing, and Skewer at the very end. If I get Calipers, this deck is already completely blocked as well. Hey, there's the big Noro Toxin. Now we've got it actually going on. All right, if I play Wraithhorn next turn, then I just win. Yep, put myself that far ahead. Don't even need to generate reflection that turn. Although it could have been useful. Don't need to do it. It's fine. Not gonna. Woohoo! Exact damage with the lethal as well. That's our first loop done. It's a poison build that does not have a catalyst. Now, Necrosis is interesting here. Convert all poison on all enemies to necrotic poison. Upgrades it to enemy loses all poison. Apply necrotic poison equal to the amount lost to all enemies. That will uh, kill instantly a lot of enemies. Uh, hamster wheel. Gain energy each time you draw a card. Drawing card increases its cost by one for the rest of the turn. At the start of your turn, add a random curse to your draw pile for each X cost card you have. I have none. And I draw a lot of cards. And all of the cards that I play have a cost associated with them. Yeah. So, the hamster wheel should be fine for us. I draw more cards than I want to play, which means I generate more energy than I'll be losing as a result of the extra cost on things from Hamster Wheel. So we take it. Take it. All right. So here in the first loop, enemies deal 100% more damage and they have 50% more HP. And whenever we play a card, we lose gold. If we can't lose gold, we lose an HP instead. Uh, all right. I have enough Void Shards to remove a card from my deck at a party, but I also have enough money to remove my de uh, card from my deck at a normal shop. So... I think we'll just go to the normal shop if that's what we're actually going for. So, throw a collect as well. Footwork, footwork, footwork. Into poison, deadly, crippling. Oh, leg sweep and finesse. There we go. I actually get reflection as a result of that. So, hey! Exactly what I wanted is Norotoxin and Ritual Dagger. Good kill. Fruit juice. Happy to take that and up my max HP by five immediately. I'll take another dodge and roll. Just because I'm still sad about my defense. Randomize your starter relic. I don't want to randomize my starter relic here. I'm not doing that to me. Obtain sizzling blood rather than ring of the snake. Uh, that is you heal for four at the end of each combat, I believe. But it denies me two cards in my opening hand. But I am likely to pick up Bag of Preparation anyway. My opening hand usually ends up getting too messy. So maybe I take Sizzling Blood instead as a result. Uh, so it also increases your max HP by four. Yeah, this shop is really important. Have to go to it. <clears throat> I have an x card in this deck? Oh, I do. It's Skewer. Yeah, Skewer has to get out of this deck then.
Didn't want to actually take that there. I was just trying to open the card selection. God damn it, Ryan. Got a case of the, uh, the restless clicks. Don't need another backflip now. Okay, bag of preparation. The start of combat. Draw traditional cards. Neat. Glad to have just gotten that there. There's from all sides. Doesn't go in my X-Cost build. Speaking of my X-Cost build, or rather, it's X-Cost doesn't go in my build. Speaking of X-Costs, let's get rid of Skewer. Uh, Panache makes sense, but I don't need to put it in my builds. Uh, at the start of each com uh, combat, add a random colorless card into your hand. The fact that that random colorless card gets upgraded makes that really, really useful. Modified hand. Whenever you play a power card and random card in hand, red costs zero for the rest of the turn. Huge pickup. And I'll take another footwork. Sure. I'm never going to get tired of footworks. Because they are already damaged for me in this build. It's like a relic. Sure. It's only a charge of Omori. Uh, Art of War. If you don't play any attacks during your turn, gain additional energy next turn. Totally works for me because we oftentimes don't play attacks. We have very few attacks that we actually do want to play ever. <laughs> Storm Steel. Um, I don't have Ice Cream, so I don't retain all my energy for the next turn, but I will draw extra cards. Fine, I'm doing it. I get all of my cards in my deck this turn, basically. The fact that I get to draw extra cards as a result of Light Bulb also makes the Hamster's Wheel so much better for us here. Footwork, Footwork, Wraith Form, Leg Sweep, Dodge and Roll. I mean, having Wraith Form up and reflecting the enemy is, like, useless. You don't want to do both, but oh well. Too late. Also, cards you retain from the previous turn do lose the extra cost, so... So many things going for us here. Norotoxin, there's not another one. Oh, there is another one in the deck. Never mind. There we go. Hit the Norotoxin, then Ritual Dag for the kill. I have so many scaling things. Every time you play three attacks in a turn, gain uh, two HP. That is so, so good. In a shit build. And we're not doing a shit build. Wall bank. What if you climb a four? Gain 12 gold. No one works when you spend any gold in a shop. Sure. I'm going to try and keep that going for as long as possible. Uh, by which I mean the first time I'm tempted to drop it, I will completely drop it immediately. <laughs> we actually did it. My goal was to cycle through until I got the ritual dagger so that I could get all of the... Uh, Necro's off as well as a ritual dagger. Uh, Blur now seems like a much more useful card for us. We can finally take it. And again, it's another card that's definitely staying in the deck, so it gets upgraded. Hello, Nightmare. Here's a gun, bud. Uh, we should be able to kill you pretty... Woo! Ritual dagger isn't too far from doing it right now. Distraction gets a dodge and roll. Yeah, whatever. Yikes. You're missing a lot of good stuff here. Uh, bouncing, crippling necrosis probably here. Yeah. Not great there. Not great. It's fine though. I... Ideally, we will just end up throwing out all the rest of the poisons and we'll be totally okay. Ooh. Ooh, hoo, hoo. Have we got all of the Norotoxins out right? No, we don't. Still at the bottom of the deck. Damn it. Also, it turns out you can stack Reflection by playing more block in a single turn. That actually might have been what's happened to me in the past. And I just haven't noticed it. In fact, that seems like the only likely possibility. All right, goodbye, boss. 
Hello, Satchel at the end of a turn. Retain a card. Okay, so now the... Now the well-laid plans can get out of the deck. Because I only need to be able to retain one card. <laughs> okay, uh, improvise. It costs one less. Oh, discovery is it costs zero this turn. This is it costs one less. So I have to imagine it's it costs one less this combat. Fine. Still looking for Ritual Dagger. As well as more of the Norotoxins. Well. Wait a second. I don't need to... <sighs> I, I don't actually need to kill both of them this turn. They're not posing any threat at all. So I can just wait until I have the Ritual Dagger and then kill with that. Poison darts. Apply a necrotic poison X times. Apply X poison to all enemies. This is another thing that, like, if you just had enough energy, you break the game with that. Or rather, you could have. Oh, right. Yeah, it, it used to be apply it uh, X by X times or something like that. Like, it had a multiplicative in it, and so I just immediately broke the game with it. Multiplicatives are... They're the easiest thing to look at and go, uh, something insane could happen here. They're a pretty good indicator. Okay. I'll happily Crippling Cloud. Adrenaline for even more extra energy. There's a Ritual Dagger. I do get to hold that in my hand at the end of the turn. Lovely. Unfortunately, Impatience is useless here because I'm holding the Ritual Dagger. Holding only the Ritual Dagger at this point, but I've got Reflection set up for the next couple turns. And the enemy doing 48 this turn doesn't threaten me. Primarily because they're not doing 48 this turn, are they? They're on the ground, aren't they? What a prediction. All I've got to do is steer the target towards dying to the Ritual Dagger. And it looks like we'll be able to do that. Right. Yeah, they're not going to die this turn. And they are taking a ridiculous amount of damage. So it's the best that I can do. Goodbye, enemy. And hello to a newly upgraded Ritual Tiger. Again, don't need any of those at this point. Pick a black card. Ooh. Fetch three cards, you've exhausted this combat, Grave. Uh, that's real good. That pulls the Neurotoxins back. Uh, okay, so there's Bronze Core from Replay the Spire. Uh, gain energy at the start of your turn. Each combat includes a Bronze Orb, meaning that won't attack, but will put cards into stasis until killed. Uh, there's also a Sealed Pack. Choose a Basic, Rare, Colorless, Black, and a Curse. The Curse cannot be skipped and becomes Total Bound. Those are all a choice of three. They're not just choose any Basic, any Rare, any Colorless, any Black, and any Curse. Uh, so, basically, you take that for the rare, the colorless, and the black. And colorless choices are like, yeah, whatever. So, you're effectively just taking it for the black and the rare. It's not that great. And then Sneko Skulls here, also not particularly handy for us. Like, we do have the ability to turn down the negative from Omori. Like, it is a better orrery, right, in this position for us. But I want extra energy more than I want anything else. I'm taking Bronze, or, uh, bronze Call. And extra enemies in each fight, as long as those enemies don't stop the fight themselves, that is to say, as long as I don't have to kill that enemy in order to end the fight, then it's fine. It's whatever. I don't really care. And I don't have to kill the Bronze Orb. The Bronze Orb is a minion. I can attack someone else. Secret weapon. 
That's already lethal. Well, um, let me play both of those out. Okay. This all burst poison darts is hilarious, but it's not good here. So I, I literally only am continuing this fight right now because I am looking for more neurotoxins. As soon as I realize that I can't get them, which is now, I'm just going to end the combat. Uh-uh, don't need any of that. Ooh. Normal. Really? Sure. Uh, I don't even know what it's asking me to choose. Bottled Soul! Upon pick up, choose an exhaust card. Whenever you play that card, it only resources. Well, probably on the one that does the most poison, right? Guidebook upon uh, upon pickup upgrade two cards randomly and it prioritizes rarer cards. There's also the grinning jar here. Obtain a skill that draws two cards. Obtain an additional copy for each other 12 cards in your deck. Uh, the great thing about grinning jar in particular is that it's a one cost card that draws two cards. So it gives you extra energy. I do need to be removing a card from my deck basically every time I have the option as well. Uh-uh. Don't want to store anything in there. Alright, muggers. How's it going? Ooh, pre-upgraded piercing whale. Lovely. Oh, the grinning jaws are upgraded? What upgraded them? I guess they were obtained in a shop, so they probably got upgraded by the the golden egg. Wild. So they now just draw two cards with no downside as well. Lovely. There we go with the Norotoxin off. Worst case scenario, the Bronze Orb takes something that I'm trying to amplify here. In fact, that's good for me, isn't it? Oh, it didn't even take anything on that turn. You really ought to. Thankfully, all of those powers are really easy to play out of the hand there. All right, we go with the Bouncing Flask. And then prepared into completely discarding those cards. That was dumb. I just lost my Neurotoxin I didn't need to do. I mean, those other two Neurotoxins are no longer needed in the deck at this point as well, by the way. So maybe I should just not have them. Because the other one doesn't exhaust anymore. And even if it does find a way to exhaust, I can bring it back. Just straight up murder you if you don't mind. Hmm. So that's 30. It's a decent lack of damage. Fine, I will actually kill the slaver myself this turn. You got me. I'll do it. Yeah, like there's a lot of things in this deck that are fine in this deck that just don't really need to be here. So the more card removal I can get, the far better off we're going to be at dealing with those options. Speaking of that, Merchant's card removal service now always costs 50 gold from the Smiling Mask. That is insanely, insanely necessary. Thank you, game. I was right about that whole we're going to be overfilling our hands constantly thing. Feeling pretty happy about that. 
don't have any enemies with any weak on them, so the exploit weakness looks pretty weak, for lack of a better word. Hmm. Fine. <sighs> Chosen in line two is already dead. Mm, so it's 26 from the bird. That can actually be a problem here, though. Can we find any more of the Neurotoxins? Yes, we can. Just the one. I'm still not going to spend my entire time in this fight, though. 37 cards in the deck. This... It's not good. It's not good. We need far fewer than that. Okay, so it's Halation with the cat face Relic, so I'm not going to be able to use that. Because unfortunately, like, while this is a build that works really well, it's also super slow. Fine, at least we got the back liner down this turn. Yeah, it's really slow, and it's got all of these cards that it's trying to scale all at the same time? I really feel like I probably should have just picked one and stuck with it. <clears throat> also, a lot of the time here where I could retain a card at the end of the turn or things like that, like, when they're not going to be impactful, I'm just not going to do them. Just because if I spent all of this entire run desperately trying to do anything that had even a slight possibility of a bonus for us, like min-maxing the entire time, uh, I would probably end up pulling my hair out. There is just so much to do over the course of this run right now. I long for the day that I have items that give me things in my opening hand, so I know, oh yeah, I've already got this. That kind of thing would be really good. Quantum Egg actually makes Metamorphosis and things like that playable. So it's five random attacks into your draw pile. They cost zero this combat. And they're all upgraded from the Quantum Egg. So it's actually really good. I mean, I can just kill you this turn. Toxic Egg, whenever you add a kill, uh, skill card to your deck, rather. Upgrade it. Uh, like, after image does make sense-ish. No, we scale our decks far better. It's fine. We don't take it. Uh, and here, I definitely want the Red Skull, so it's fight time. It's fight night, fellas. One down. Two down. Extra attacks in this end, so I can use the draw. Three down. There we go. And yes, I could try and draw out the rest of the deck just to get one Neurotoxin, but I could also not do that. Okay, mask as well as pre-upgrade and hidden blade. No, no need to take anything like that. No need to do it to me. These zero-cost neurotoxins being added into my opening hand aren't particularly helping, but... I appreciate their enthusiasm, I guess. You can see here how incredible those grinning jars are, by the way. That turn would have been like, eh, whatever, but instead that's a great turn. Ooh, secret technique. Pull a skill from the draw pile. Uh, let's pull Norotoxin. We'll just retain that. Sweet. And any other Norotoxins in here? Yeah, there is another one. 
If I have the ability to in this turn, I'll try and draw into it. There we do. Beautiful. Because we still haven't got a catalyst. So it's really important that these get bigger for the sake of the uh, the Lord at the end of not even this run, but the run after this run. To sack for extra void shots. Uh, the calculated gamble becomes really good with the hamster wheel as well, by the way. Mm -hmm. Calculated gamble is also like the strongest single target draw that I have in that position, so. Even has the benefit of getting all of the other garbage cards out of my hands. That'll just kill everyone. I have to do it. There was another Norotoxin in there I was missing. That's my bad. Ooh, Vajra started combat with one strength. You know I like that. Should I start picking up cards that just give me voids? Uh, I have no <laughs> strikes and defense in this deck, so happily remove the card. Uh, prepared is pretty bad. Necrosis is honestly pretty bad as well. In this deck at this time. So ideally I would have like two dodge and rolls, two backflips, two deflex, one finesse, one collect, one neurotoxin, three copies of footwork, one ritual dagger, one leg sweep. And that would be it. Maybe wraith form as well. Maybe the Wraith form. All right. Can I kill the Collector on turn one? The answer is yes. Am I going to kill the Collector on turn one? Well, that's a completely different issue. Okay. Do the Giant Nora Toxin. The Collect as well. Throw blow. I don't think I need it. Hidden blade can also be really useful. Oh right, yeah. I should ritual dagger to kill that minion. That's dumb. I should have done that ages ago. I was thinking of holding the ritual dagger to kill the collector next turn. That was the whole. That was actually overall the whole plan. It was a bad plan. Just gonna grinning jaw through the rest of my deck if you don't mind. I mean, it all works out in the end. Definitely all works out in the end. Bullet time as well as necrosis. That bullet time looks far more impactful right now. But the thing is, any bullet time that says, yeah, you now stop drawing cards, stops my energy generation and my card pool. Both of which I desperately need. Kintsugi. Uh, remove five cards from your deck. Choose two curses to obtain. Attempting to remove the curses with effect, effect transforms them instead. Uh, I love this little bowl friend. Removes a bunch of cards from the deck. Oh, it's so neat. All right, let's get rid of Predator. Poison Smoke Screen is not climbing in defense as quickly as I would like it to for it to actually be useful for us. Survivor a lot of the time is discarding a card that I actually want to keep. Because I can pretty much get value out of every card in my hand at this point. Bouncing Flask is very expensive for very, very small amounts of poison at this point. I mean, I think we take any amount of poison out of the deck that isn't a necrotic, just because it's garbage. Can we play for three energy to exhaust at the start of your turn? Uh, shuffle. Uh, yeah, that's probably the least impactful. Uh, while this is in your hand, you cannot play attacks. That's also... No, nah, that's kind of impactful for us. Draw one card at three random cost. No. 
the end of turn gaining confusion for one round. So I'll take Delirium, then Looming Evil. Hopefully Delirium is the one that gets cancelled on addition. And it was. Beautiful. Uh, it tried to add itself to the deck and it couldn't. And then Looming Evil did. And then that was another card for the sake of the Grinning Jar. And then Grinning Jar, Grinning Jar. I don't know what upgraded Grinning Jar though. I have no effect here. Oh, wait, no, I do have a skill. Yeah, I do have Toxic Egg now. So now it makes sense that it got upgraded. Ooh. Okay, that's... Have we already looped through that many times? I thought we were on our second. Oh, I guess that says defeat and big question marks. Sure. Didn't think I was up against them yet. It's like a pretty safe final path. Doing a lot of card removal. Oh, something I was trying to say ages ago that I finally actually remembered is I am really looking forward to the time where I actually have... One second while my brain stalls out for a second longer. Uh, where I will actually have the ability to put something in my opening hand. Because there are a lot of impactful things we could get in an opening hand. Oof. We could just end the fights as they begin with that, but sadly. I have it yet. Eh, whatever. I've already killed all of them. I should have focused on the Bronze Orb there instead so that I would have been able to get to Ritual Dagger, but eh, it didn't really matter. Uh, Calculated Gamble is, as I said, the best draw card in this entire thing so far and really good with the Hamster Wheel. Okay, we'll dodge and roll and then double draw and then double draw the turn after as well. Make space in hand for the collect to refill. Oh, again? This deck has way too many cards in it. There we go. Another Norotoxin. Now we can Hidden Blade for the refill. We got any other attacks in hand? I don't believe so. So now it's impatience time. God. Still can't find this calculated gamble absolutely for the life of me. Nor the ritual dagger. And I can't hold for another turn anyway. I could have used deep breath on the off chance, but it's long, long. A uh, long bow to draw there. I like checking all of them regardless. Flash of Seal is fine. Madness is useful here. Is it? It's just a zero cost card that I draw into that makes something else zero cost so I can play out my hand more easily. I don't think I need it. Chrysalis is kind of garbage. Jack of all trades is fine, but I don't want it. Yeah. Things can be good, but still not be worth putting in the stack at this point, especially at this point. Definitely need to remove something from my deck. Corpse Explosion seems useful for dealing with AoE, but we already have Necrosis in the deck for that. Uh, removal. I don't want to remove draw like Hidden Blade yet, but it is something that I have my eye on. Oh, obviously Looming Evil. Uh, I can't take the Preserved Insect at this point. Strange Spoon seems to make sense, right? Yeah, the things that exhaust when we play them are things that we want back here. Except for the Shiv from the, the draw card that I forgot the name of. Hidden Blade. Upgrade the Deflects. <laughs> Again, I want the rest of those cards out of this deck. Matroshko, the next two non-boss chests you open contain two relics. Sure. Let's take the Ruby Key here as well. Lucky Rock, every time you play an attack, you have a 5% chance to gain critical. Whenever you play a power, gain shielding equal to three times its cost. Shielding is temporary HP, effectively. Yeah, that's, that's gonna be pretty good. So, 
Mayhem, Norotoxin, Norotoxin. Ooh, Sissic Nature, and Improvise as well. Ooh. I'll take bullet time, see if I can draw as many cards as possible, then play it. Damn it. I'm trying to play as many cards as possible, but... Oh, I still have more draw. Alright, fine. I think we'll just naturally use all of the draw in the deck. There's no more Norotoxin in there. We've got the kill. I'm going to calculate a gamble all the way back to... Impatience to Norotoxin. There we go. <laughs> uh, I mean, ideally, the deck is just that one card, right? I hate that I still take that. Immediately travel to the boss? No. Take my extra elite, thank you. Double gang of Bane. Neutralize Finesse. Finesse is really good. Sneak up I actually probably wouldn't have wanted. Thank you, Finesse. Completely pays for itself. Also gives us the reflection going on. Kind of just got to play some things that have a cost associated with them out of my hand right now. Make some space. Hand management becomes so damn important at this point. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna... I'm gonna collect, and then calculate a gamble, because all of those cards are complete garbage and don't contribute towards what we're trying to do. Ritual Dagger is actually being really handy for constantly having a target to hit with the... Sorry, Bronze Ore, Bronze Core has been really handy to constantly have a target to hit with the Ritual Dagger. Yeah, there's the rest of them. Knew they were hanging out there somewhere. All right, exactly how much block do I end up with here? <laughs> Just a casual way too much. Oh, right, yeah, those didn't necessarily all burn. Strange Spoon. I was wondering why those cards were still in the deck. Uh, no... <laughs> ah, it's me again. Hello, me again. Time for you to die again. All right, secret weapon pulls ritual dagger. Ritual dagger kills the frontliner. Come on. Really? All right. Well, I can. Clouds end the turn, then fine. Uh, I'll retain both. I'm just gonna retain both backflips instead. I'll retain all backflip. Hey, thanks for all these upgraded cards, bud. Got mad pranked. I'll throw a flash out there as well. Still pretty useful. Uh, yeah, I can just deal 150 right now. That said, that also poisons me, and I don't need to take damage here. Yeah, I'll do the version of this that results in me taking no damage, if you don't mind. Yeah, that'll do it. Beautiful. Goodbye. Friends, Centennial Puzzle. Hello to you instead, though. There's another calculated gamble. I think we're probably done picking up cards at this point. Hopefully. Dig up a random relic. We get Bottle Tornado upon pick up choose a power card. Start each combo with that on your opening hand. Uh, I mean, it seems like Wraithform should be it, but Wraithform is super easy to draw into anyway. I think I take footwork. Massive Shapes looks a little different right now. Has the Massive Shapes render changed? Like, it looks a lot smoother. 
That said, I said it. Like, I saw it earlier in this run, didn't I? I should have noticed it then. Uh, hey, there we go. Calculate again with number one. It's the fastest I can get through my deck, yeah? Go to gamble number two. Noro, Noro. Even throughout the ritual there. I mean, I may actually just be able to use the calculated gambles to cycle through until I have uh, poisoned an enemy out of existence. That one didn't exhaust, unfortunately. Fills up our hand again, then completely throw it all away. <laughs> I mean, look, I can just end my turn right now, right? Yeah. Let's end this turn and end the next turn. We need to get in the habit of doing that. So this is not the end boss, as we've very clearly, unfortunately, seen here. Means that I have to make my way all the way back to an end boss. Next cycle. That's going to take us a while. Alright, fine. Just end that turn. Let him die. So I want my fights likely to be as quick as possible, which is just one Norotoxin to the enemy. I need that Norotoxin in my opening hand, so. I'm going to be constantly waiting for the bottled skill, bottled uh, lightning. Remove two cards from the deck. Happy to take that as well. There's chewing gum. Uh, gain energy at the start of each turn. Every time you shuffle your deck, add three slime to your draw pile. That's never going to happen because of how thick the deck is, but I also don't care. I'm just removing more cards. Uh, Paired and hidden blade, probably. Yeah. Impressive more. So now we can only play 15 cards in a single turn. That's a little bit of a problem for us. Uh, and enemies have 100% more HP and deal 175% more damage. I want to hit as many question marks and as many elites as possible. Get as many of the relics as I can. Get as many of those unique effects going on. You know I love me a good old unique effect. Gonna try and quick end these combats. Two cultists, mate. I mean, are there anything, or rather, is there anything in this list that I intend not to do? Sucker punch, no. Poison stab, no. Speed training, no. Bane, no. Reflex, no. Yeah. I mean, I'm probably not gonna pick up any more cards past this point, so that whole tree can probably be ignored. Great. Having Ritual Dang in the opening hand as well as one Neurotoxin is neat. Don't need a Crippling Cloud. Yeah. I should probably stop checking card rewards. Like, it's taking me much longer than I need at all to be with those card rewards. I mean, my whole deck is already upgraded, so what does that do for me? Or a Calcum. That's good. Uh, Dead Branch. Whenever you exhaust a card, add a random card to your hand. Can be burned at rest sites. If we do take that, we burn it, right? We'll see. Maybe. Maybe we burn it. The fact that it will just overfill my hand constantly is actually my main concern with it, to be entirely honest with you. Get the gamble to get all the way through, and then ritual deck for the kill moment. Potion belt and public up game two potion slots as well as nothing. What potions ultimately do I want there? Ooh, hand of greed, lovely. Perfect damage to kill that target as well, lovely. Uh, I haven't thrown the ritual dagger yet, have I? Gamble. Mm. 
not all the way to another one. That's fine, though. Really? Yeah, Ritual Dagger is on the absolute bottom of the deck. Wild. You got me, video game. You got me. Nope. Even cards that look like they're useful for this deck. No, they're just diluting my neurotoxins and stuff like that. Ooh, dramatic entrance, though. Lovely. Happy to see it. Uh, ooh, I do have to be aware of how many cards I actually get to play overall in a turn. There we go. Now I'm ready to win no matter what. Beautiful. I forgot that the counter on time maze counts upwards, so I thought I only had four more cards to play. Thankfully, that wasn't the case. Okay, we're starting to build those void shards back up after I spent all of my void shards earlier. Anchor, start each combat with 10 block. I do like that. Hey! Hello, Nightmare Alpha. This is going to be a problem. Okay. Footwork, 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 mayhem. Hmm. Footwork as well. Okay. Ritual. Noro. Well laid, and then blur. I think all of that was essential at the very end there. I'm going to need to try and blur as many turns as possible as well. It's going to be difficult to get back to, though. Ah, never mind. We have Wraithform. Right, I forgot about that. Okay. Nora Toxin goes out. Backflip as well, so that I can calculate a gamble and try and find myself... Different neurotoxins. Uh, and blur, I guess, as well. Sure. Don't think I can kill the enemy in the next turn. Because they can only take 150 damage in a single turn. Oh, thank you for throwing away my entire hand there, game. Not really appreciated, but yeah, I guess I play another blur. Sure. All right, find me my ritual dagger back, game. Make up for what you just did. Oh. <laughs> Thank you, game. Wait, what? How is that whole attack blocked? Oh, wait, the enemy's... The enemy can no longer be harmed this turn. Oh, so poison's damaged... According to invincibility, poison damage occurs at the start of a turn. That's weird as hell. Wax seal. Relics in shops cost 20% less, and you can borrow 100 gold in a shop, but it adds a curse to your deck until you pay it back. Uh, Shops are card removal opportunities. I always have to go to them. Shop back. So it looks like the other one, but it's not. Uh, Choose three colorless cards to obtain, and you're guaranteed to get at least one rare. Uh, I think I go for the max HP increase over anything else. The pet ghost, no. Pet ghost is just another card that I have to manage at all times. So I'm not super interested in having to do that. Uh, leg sweep. I mean, neutralize probably gets out of the deck now. It's easy to play, but it's another attack. There'll be later shops as well. Okay, so we go to a bonfire at the very end. I, I guess in all of these bonfires, what I'm looking for is the ability to remove cards from my deck. So if we get a bonfire with the ability to toke in, I am going to be very, very pleased. Backflip. No. 
God damn it. So many of these cards are useless. I think basically like all of the defends need to go from this deck. Like all of them just need to get gone. Drop a toxic for speed. Cause speed could actually be useful in like a pinch. I'll take the money. I don't go to the two rest sites there because I have no more cards to upgrade at this point. It doesn't matter how many rest sites I go to if I don't have anything to do in any of them. Oh. Oh. There we go. Big old Count Gamp. And yeah, I kind of think like we'll do that. Do the collector, see if I get it. Fine, I guess I'm actually committing to going through the rest of the deck. Really? Ritual Dagger was the bottom card of the deck. Again? Again. Can't believe it. Oh, I can only play 15 cards in a turn. We finally actually had that showcase. Mm -mm. Ooh, never mind. Blur. Yes, that actually is essential. Dig, toke, light branch. It's a special action. It's a free action. Uh, the action, by the way, uh, gives you, whenever you enter a rest site, start the next combat with five regen. Uh, yeah, I'm getting these deflex out of the build now. They've been hanging out for far too long. They are really easy to get out of my hand, but they're in between me and all of my powerful cards. Uh, eventually, when there aren't that many cards between me and my powerful cards, I will start cutting my draw cards out of the deck as well. Because eventually, my deck will be mostly draw and occasional powerful cards. And I've got to get back to those, yeah? Okay. Take the gamble again. Damn it! Oh, time maze! Ooh, you got me, you time mazey time maze. And then in response, uh, I get the boss. Whee! Bag of trick. Ooh, I've never seen this before. Choose X. Apply six poison. Add four ships to your hand. Gain 10 block or draw three cards or gain two energy next turn. Oh, that's wild. So it's any combination of slightly worse deadly poisons slightly oh, x for four shivs wow x for draw three as well oh but you do have to play at the end of your turn right because the next cost card so it actually does have a little bit of an outside like that so it's, it's blade dance with a differentness uh 10 blocks so that's just like you know, better defend i guess uh draw three cards that's a skim or outmaneuver but it's an unupgraded outmaneuver next turn that's what you dump your extra energy in at the end. That is super interesting. It doesn't go in this build. It's super interesting, but it does not. It just doesn't, but it's super interesting though. Shame it doesn't go in the build. Uh, potion's always a bit uncut on my rewards. Don't want to discard two cards at the start of each turn. It's just going to be extra stuff that I have to check. Okay. I found a path that has two shops on it, and I want shops, so... Go to both of those shops. I could be getting extra value out of these potions, sure. But uh, can I return you to the point I made about the whole don't want to be here for a trillion years every combat? I'm going to throw every potion that I know I'm not going to use in the final fight. I think that's going to be fine. It's just so I don't have to focus on doing that later. Grinning? Collect is a very powerful card to be losing, but... Somehow I think I'm going to get over it. somehow these apparitions all immediately get upgraded but they're not necessary i don't have to have them 
So I could go up this path, and that's actually, like, way better. Oh, it's so much better. This path is only good for an extra shop. This path is good for two extra question marks and then a rest. And these question marks have to be things as well. I don't care about Nloth. Ooh, remove a card and upgrade a random card? Uh, this is effectively only removal for me, because I only have cards to remove. Hey, yeah, upgraded a random card, did you? Nice try. The ultimate defense is so good for protection here. So, like, I never have to worry about the enemies anymore. Haha, <laughs> cause explosion. <laughs> oh, wild. All right, we'll count gamble the first time. You got the second count gamble yet? Yes, but after that ritual dagger. And there's Norotoxin again. Yeah, we're going to have no problem with the boss at the end of this run. That said, Catalyst is still a card we need. Have I seen a Catalyst that I've turned down, or have I just not seen Catalyst? I'm worried. I'm legitimately worried. It's another necrosis. That's fine. It should be totally okay to just necrosis after our first draw of the norotoxin. Yeah, there we go. Good utilization of our deadly norotoxin. Ooh. Mango as well for 14 more max HP. Oh, escape plan. God damn it. Another card that I add to the deck despite my better interests in not doing so. Remove a card. Happy to. Okay, I'm already really pleased about the event giving us the ability to remove so many. Oh, rather, the Juzu bracelet giving us so many events and those events giving us the ability to remove so many cards. It's 100% essential. I think we can probably start getting rid of the dodge and rolls. Uh, actually, Leg Sweep scales the worst with the increase of defense from our other cards. Uh, here, I feel like I should just take gold constantly. Yeah. Sure, I have 10 HP leaving that combat, but I'm going to heal back up because I never take damage. Full stop. Uh, fossilized Helix. Prevent the first time you lose HP each combat. Yeah, that seems good. Uh, upon pick up, obtain 150 gold and a random curse. I don't want to add a curse to my deck and then have to remove it. Um, those calculated gambles are just there to get me past other cards that I don't necessarily want to cast at the time. How many attacks do I even have in the deck? Just Ritual Dagger, I think. Just Ritual Dagger. World Egg Plants is going to be important in the final... No, it's not. It's not. It's not. We have the satchel. It's fine. We can get rid of World Egg Plants. Uh, I'm also going to discard a Par Potion here in order to take the Fruit Juice. Heal up a little max HP. On scale, started to combo with three thorns. Sure. Whenever you deal four or less unblocked attack damage, increase to five. Sure. Vampiric Spirits. On the first turn of combat, 25% of unblocked attack damage you deal is returned as health. That's really powerful. I don't need it. Take tag Bag. Take uh, whetstone? No. Okay, we're starting to get relics there that just don't affect us at all, so I'm just going to pass and go to the next shop. Okay. One target down! Hell yes. Uh, I'm not going to be able to kill a slaver with specifically Hand of Greed, I don't think. Unless I use two Hands of Greed? So that's cycled back to Hand of Greed? Okay, yeah, it's theoretically possible to do that, I guess. I mean, I also do think we have an infinite in terms of, like, energy generation and card generation. Just with these calculated gambles, I think we have the ability to infinite until the end of the battle.
Oh well. Get caught out by the inability to cast the rest of the cards. That's fine, because everyone dies. All these moves don't start each combat with one strong. Sorry, one dex as well. Not strong. Uh, Regal Pillar, when Virus, to heal an additional 15 HP. Ooh, when viewing the draw pile, your cards are now shown in order. That's really good. Also, again, no catalyst. Just saying, just saying, you could have catalyst me. Catalyzed? You could have used Catalyst. Uh, Echoes of Time is now seeming garbage because my goddamn Noro Texans. Uh, Noro Texans? <laughs> Howdy, partner. It's me, the Noro Texan. I'm here to help you. <laughs> yeah, Noro Texans never even get out of my deck. I believe it. Um, I'll take Ghosts in each other. Lovely. All right, champ. Where are you hiding it? Don't look at me like that, champ. You know exactly what I mean. Where are you hiding the catalyst? It's got to be around here somewhere. Uh, I think I just do the rest of my setup this turn. Well, can't get a gamble. I could get, I could get lethal here. There it is. There it is. Goodbye, champ. Eh, I guess I'll play the Neurotoxin first. Goodbye, champ, and hello to the final floor. Adrenaline again, like. Useful. Not necessary, though. Uh, gain energy at the start of each turn. For every 100 gold below 500 you have, enemies start with a random buff. On pick up, gain 100 gold. I think I take the fusion hammer. Why? Because all of my cards are already upgraded. So. <laughs> Seems like maybe I'll take the fusion hammer there. Ooh, this one has two shops. That is two removals. I could have also gone to Uvhari there for an extra removal. I'm still not really feeling the effects of any of the removals from my deck. Like, the deck still feels like it plays exactly the same. Fine. I'm going to revert back to the previous plan of just quickly end these combats. We'll go for the rare acts. The other two were just way too dangerous. 999 gold is fine, but in uh, if it completely screws up my opening hand and then I die, it's not fine anymore. It's not a risk I need to take at this point, I think is what I mean to say. Right, calculated gamble number one. See if we actually get the ability to do a second. And we do. I played Gambit on number two. Gets me a Neurotoxin as well as another one. No? Damn. Alright, so we've all got to remember the Hexaghost's biggest turn is turn two. So I have to make sure that they never get to turn two. Savvy? Did it. Golem Mask. On the first turn of combat, gain Golem's Might 5% more damage every single turn. Uh, you know what? The more question marks is probably better than just that extra shop right there. Uh, no, don't care about any of those. Fight the Voidlings and then fight the Nightmare after? Sure. Should have no problem doing this. Neurotoxin, the first one. I'm not going to play the zero cost Neurotoxin because it doesn't actually do anything. Great. Still, Ritual Dagger on the absolute bottom of the deck. Oh my gosh. 
least we got it all done at the very end there. Okay, fight the Nightmare Alpha. Nightmare Alpha has invincibility from turn one, right? Yeah, you have invincibility from turn one. That said, you're considered an elite for the sake of the preserved insect, apparently. That's good information to have. Something I didn't know before. Hell yes. Just gonna play both blurs that turn. Hell yes. I should be pretty comfortable now for basically forever. The only thing that really threatens me in this combat is... Uh... Nothing, really. I don't think anything in the Nightmare combat threatens me anymore. It's a lovely position to be in. I mean, they're going to be threatening themselves with all the damage they're about to do to themselves. That's it. I don't need to do anything for the rest of this combat right now. Just wait. Absolutely ridiculous 75 incoming here, by the way. Beautiful. Uh, okay, so this is question mark, question mark, question mark, question mark. Its effects are randomized each time it gets drawn, and the more energy it costs, the more effects it gets. Uh, not needed for this deck. Not gonna be taking it. It would be pre-upgraded as a result of the other potion, though. It's weird. Black cards don't show themselves as pre-upgraded despite Toxic Egg. Uh, Wing Boots. You may ignore paths choosing the next room to travel to a couple times. Yeah, that's really important to me. I'm gonna be utilizing that a lot on this floor. So I'll go across to the shop. Membership card, 50% discount on all products. It's real good. Two for one in after images is also really good. Like a lot of things are really good here. Uh, but I have to focus on card removal still. Okay. We go to a normal combat, then another shop. Hello, buds. Mmm, second secret technique. I'll just pull out the second Norotoxin right now. Throw both of those on. Grinning, grinning calculated. Mm-hmm. Nice some patience as well. Final Noro, so now we have lethal. Fine. Don't even have an extra card there. Although, I get to watch <laughs> 22 cards get added to my deck and upgraded. <laughs> oh, that's taking way too long. I should not have done what I did. I am immediately regretful. T set, Alexa, no need for any of that. Go to the shop again, and specimen! <laughs> Whenever an enemy dies, transfer any poison it has to another enemy. Uh, I don't think that affects anything anymore, so I'm not sure I want to take it. Uh, all of these grinning jars are now going to become a problem, right? Like the free cycle things are a problem for the time maze in general. Necrosis, I also don't think I need in this deck anymore. Like, it's either Necrosis or the Specimen, surely. I'm gonna take the Specimen. Fine. I don't think I actually needed to take that, but... Eh, whatever. No skin off my back. Mm -mm. Don't need any of those either. Mystery Machine gains one charge each time you enter a question mark room. Loses one charge each time you go between two non-question mark rooms. Start combat with one random strength or dex for each charge it has. So, like, I can go there, 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 and then I lose my three charges over the next three and then go to the boss. Like, it doesn't seem like something I actually want to play around. I also don't really want any more black cards in this build, I don't think.
Ooh. Finally, Nora talks to number one. Mitchell Dagger gets its kill. We'll calculate a gamble looking for more Nora toxins and immediately find them. Redraw back up to near full hand. Calculate a gamble again. And still no. This is also one thing, by the way, uh, I think I was wrong before with, was I wrong? So with respect to the hamster wheel, I was saying it was, uh, we already had an infinite available, but the infinite that we had available was based on the fact that we were constantly able to say, uh, play the same cards, but Whenever the card is redrawn in the same turn for the in, uh, for the half wheel, it increases cost. Drawing card increases the cost by one for the turn, right? And then if you cycle back into that card, it increases the cost again, two for the turn. I still think we would be able to infinite enough to get any enemy down, but I don't think it necessarily counts as a quote-unquote infinite. Enemy's already dead this turn. I don't need to do anything else. I'll throw out another Nora Toxin. How about that? That good enough? Goodbye, giant head. Girya, you can now gain strength at rest sites up to three times maximum. Still no. Good lord. At least it's another card removal. I'm just dismayed in the we've still found no catalyst whatsoever. So good. Okay. Finally found the first useful card, second useful card, third useful card. Okay, we've already got lethal, beautiful. Whew, that's all I wanted. Not to have to extend that for an extra turn. During the first turn, drawing a card upgrades it. I mean, sure. Hey, 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 there we go. I knew there was a catalyst in this deck somewhere. All it took was literally the final card decision we get. Oh, well. Another toxic. Another dodge and roll. Don't need to take that. Toke. Oh, we get to remove another card from the deck. Thank you. Okay, the deck has gotten so much more effective with all of these removals, I feel. Get final dodge and roll back out of the deck. Those cards were fine. They were transitional cards for our deck. All right, Lord of Fortifications getting real tanky back there. So I need to find all of my defense really quickly. Which I can go over there. Also got to keep an eye on how many cards I played each turn. Just play that and exhaust it. Yeah, definitely still have to keep an eye on the amount of cards played a turn. Okay. And then at the end of this turn, I hold Calculated Gamble. Rather than Wraith Form. Wraith Form is later. Because we can still defend this turn without it. I think that catalyst needs to be really late in this combat as well, unfortunately. It's backflip. Yeah. I think it's calculated gamble number one. Try and find as many Norotoxins in a single turn as possible. I will play every copy of Blur that passes. As well as try and use cards that draw. Uh, hang on. Yeah. Try and use cards that give me block as well as draw when available. <clears throat> Choose a card to retain. Uh, Violence is really, really bad. I want to get that out of my hand here. But I should still probably hold on to Wraith Form, just in case. Just in case. Things can get suddenly very, very dire. 
There's a calculated gamble available here. Do I catalyst first? No. No, I'm going to get more neurotoxins off before I do anything here, I think. I think I'll throw it at the end of the turn. Regardless. That at least gives me a time limit on how useful it can be. Finesse pass there. Now, I do have to be making my decisions quickly, but the enemy is only getting, like, more temp HP. It's not actually that drastic to us. No, I'm going to hold Catalyst for the next turn. There's a bunch more Neurotoxins I can get. I thought there was a Neurotoxin on bottom of the deck there, weirdly. These blurs in particular have freed me from actually having to care. Because the enemy will never damage me. It's just not happening at this point, let's be real. I have actually lost some Neurotoxins so far. Well, Catalyst did not exhaust. Oh, hell yes. That's exactly what I wanted. All right, I'm going to calculate a gamble, try and get back to Catalyst. Catalyst again, and there we go. Beautiful. Oh, Strange Spoon, you done it again. Uh, no need for any of those. Yeah, no benefit to any of those either. Uh, Shrinking Draft. That draws way too many cards in a turn and lowers our amount of energy. Not needed. But it does remove three cards from the deck as well. Oh, but it draws you three. Uh, it draws you two extra cards at the start of your turn. That's really good. We have Hamster's Wheel. Yeah, we take this. Uh, I pretty much want to remove everything that's not a Footwork, a Blur, a Neurotoxin, or Wraith Form. I think I've played Wraith Form like twice over the course of this entire thing so far. Uh, probably backflip? No, escape plan is just a card that I play for very little value, and it's a problem with the time maze, so the escape plans go. It might even be a finesse after that. Yeah, it's finesse. Well, Green Jar. It's a Green Jar, I think, actually. Let's go to the secret room and fight the end boss. We actually do get to lift once as well. Beautiful. Nothing I'm going to be picking out of those. Fine. Another card removal available. <laughs> Peace Pipe. You can now remove cards from your deck of rest sites. Finally. Yeah, I told you that eventually we were going to have to start cutting draw cards from my deck, and uh, the time has come. <laughs> Tiny little defect. I love it. All right. Uh, let's Ritual Dagger you, and then Nora Toxin you, and just immediately end the combat. Seems the most useful thing we can do there. Frozen Egg, Adrenaline Potion, Hidden Blade. Yeah, none of that's necessary. Go into the final combat. And then I'll just drink all the rest of the potions because we are done. So. Footwork into footwork into footwork. All of them reduce the cost of one another. And then it reduces the cost of uh, Wraith Form. Ridiculous. Oh! I actually didn't play the Ritual Dagger in time there. Ridiculous. Why do I have so many finesses in the deck? Do I have three finesses in this deck? One, two. No, I just have two. Why do I have three right now? Oh, add a random colors card to your hand. Yep. Now I understand, finally. All it took was basically forever, but I finally understand. Uh. Fine, I'll be able to play the blurs later. It's okay. 
Also, I don't need the blurs. I'm intangible for the next billion turns. So we're all okay already. Hey, Catalyst didn't exhaust there. Beautiful. Noro, Noro, Catalyst. And Catalyst actually exhausted that time, but that's fine because the enemy is dead next turn. That's a double order fortification. That is the end of our time in this cycle with Infinite Spire and serves as a little bit of the introduction to Replay the Spire. Shows off a large amount of the relics from it, as well as a lot of cards from it. And a lot of events, and a lot of enemies, and a boss. For the moment, my name is Rhapsody. The name of the game has been Slay the Spire. Hopefully you've been enjoying yourselves, and hopefully we'll see you next time.